In this video, we're going to take a look at client-side authentication with the next auth package. By client-side authentication, I'm looking at showing or hiding content in the UI based on whether a user is logged in or not. And for our scenario, we're going to work with the nav bar. At the moment, irrespective of whether the user is signed in or signed out, the sign in and sign out buttons are always present. This is something we don't want in a production app. The sign in button should only be visible if the user is signed out and the sign out button should only be visible if the user is signed in. Let's learn how to do that. Now the way we check if someone is signed in with the next auth library is by using the use session hook that the package provides. So along with sign in and sign out, import use session. Then within the component, call the hook. The hook returns two values. The first value is the session object and the second value is the loading flag. Let's log the values to the console and see what they contain. Session and loading. Head back to the browser and refresh. You can see that the values are logged three times. Initially, session is undefined and loading is true. So the next auth library is trying to figure out if the user is logged in or not. In the second render, it has identified that the user is not logged in and session is set to null. Finally, it has figured out the session status and loading is also set to false. Using these two values, we can conditionally render the sign in and sign out buttons. For sign in, the condition is not loading and not session. So if use session hook is not loading and there is no session found, render the sign in button. And for sign out, the condition is simply session and the list item. So if session exists, meaning if a user is signed in, render the sign out button. Let's head back to the browser and test it out. On page load, you can see that we haven't logged in and hence only the sign in button is visible. If I sign in, we see only the sign out button. So we are authenticating client side to determine what UI to display based on whether the user is logged in or not. Now one thing that might have caught your attention is the flicker for the sign in button in the nav bar. Now this is expected because we are determining the session client side. So after the component renders, we make the check. So there always will be a delay in determining if the user is signed in or not client side. So if I click on sign out, there's a flicker, click on sign in, there's a flicker again. One possible fix to this issue is using transitions on the menu items. So in the navbar.css file, I'm going to paste two classes, loading with an opacity of zero and a transition, and another class loaded with an opacity of one and a transition. We can apply these classes on the ul tag. So class name is equal to main nav. And if there is no session, but your session is currently loading, we apply the loading class. If not, we apply the loaded class. If we now go back to the browser and refresh, 
The flicker is not seen and we have a smooth transition. Sign out and sign in. So this is pretty much how you perform client-side authentication with the next auth library using the use session hook. In the next video, let's take a look at securing pages client-side. Thank you all for watching. Please do leave a like if you're finding the videos helpful and I'll see you in the next one.